Sacafets YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Let us make this delicious Spanish garlic zucchini. Hello my darlings, so I'm back with a new recipe and today we're making some Spanish garlic zucchini. So I've got my zucchini over here. This is also known as courgettes here in the UK but I know some people call it zucchini. I've given it a good wash and I am gonna go ahead and just chop it up into about half an inch roughly. You don't want to make them too thick or too thin so I think this size that I'm cutting it is just perfect. So despite having two zucchinis, I decided to do only one because I guess I'm the only one who's gonna eat it seeing as this is not something I've made for my kids before. So I decided to do one and make sure there will be no waste, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and put some salt on this on both sides because I'm gonna put it in my colander as the salt will really help it to sweat and get any of that excess water out, okay? So I'm going to leave it in the colander for about half an hour in the sink to drain off and then we're just going to work on the seasonings, okay? For seasonings, I'm going to just chop up some fresh parsley as well as some fresh garlic and some fresh dill. Just chop it up as fine as you can and then we're going to mix it up and set it to one side. Thank you. 
So this is how my zucchini looks after about 30 minutes as you can see the salt did help it to sweat quite a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and place it on some paper towels and I'm gonna dab off any excess moisture and we're gonna go ahead and season this up lightly. Now you can season it with whatever you prefer. I'm just gonna put sort of like a blend of black pepper, red chili flakes and salt and I'm gonna go ahead and fry this up. So I am going to be frying my zucchini for about 5 minutes, I'd say about 2-3 to three minutes on both sides and once it has that nice gorgeous color, you want to flip it over and cook it on the other side, okay? Once my zucchini was cooked, I did place it on a paper towel to drain off any excess oil and now we're just working on that beautiful garlic and herb dressing for the top. I'm just sautéing it lightly in the leftover oil in the pot for about a minute, ensuring not to burn the garlic of course, and after about a minute, we're gonna go ahead and dress it up to serve. So there you have it, all ready to serve. I'm just gonna go ahead and place them on a plate and place that gorgeous dressing on the top and it will be ready. So I really hope you enjoy this easy Spanish garlic zucchini recipe. Try it soon and let me know how you like it. Guys, I literally had all of it in one sitting. Like it was just so, so tasty. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.